What up guys and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. If you like what I'm doing, hit like. If you want to see other games, go ahead and subscribe because there's more to come. Well, let me tell you what. We saved the Salarian Ark. Right now it's sitting on the outside of our ship. Our next move is to head back to the Nexus uh, and talk to the leadership because we now have a location for Meridian, the control spot for all the vaults across the Helios Cluster. However, it wasn't easy getting to this point. We lost a lot of Solarian lives, and a few more than a few were captured by the Archon. Right now, I want to talk to Kylo and make sure he's cool. Also, um, Ventra and Ventra and Drac want to talk to me about something. We're gonna hit them up before we head out to the Nexus. The ship man is useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Callow. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Callow? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. Okay. Callow seems to be more concerned about the ship. Just hope they don't tear up. Just hope him and Gil don't tear it up while we're out here. All right. There's Drac. Let me talk to him real quick. Ryder, you mean Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in assistant director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. Okay, no problem. Tell me about the Nexus uprising. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal. A tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. You worried about her? You think someone might try to hurt Cash? Ah, more like she airlocks Spender. Or he tries to stab her in the back and then she airlocks him. Tan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out and my clan needs to get back on station without Spender messing things up. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. Alright, I'll do it. Let's talk to you later. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Do you call everyone kid? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, <laughs> when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. You're looking long in the tooth there, buddy. Alright, where's Ventro? Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours! So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to Outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. Missing? What do you mean they're missing? They didn't leave voluntarily. No work assignments, no mining expeditions, kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. I, I trust her. Wouldn't hurt to take a look. 
I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a Pathfinder. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, let's head to the Nexus. Probably got a, more than a few things I need to take care of on there. Hey Liam, I got that stuff for you. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Joel to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. Okay. What's your thoughts on the squad? What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? A strange mix. Some people wonder how we make this team work. Some days, I'm one of them. It's a blur sometimes. I bet Lexi's flagging all kinds of psych warnings. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. All right, man. Take it easy. We'll talk later. I know it. Up the Nexus. Heavy processing. Cellular lysis would be hugely inefficient. Are you still trying to figure out how to eat Helios flora? Oh, shoot. I was talking out loud again, wasn't I? Wow. A lot more planet, a lot more systems out here. Nexus, here we come. I would like Watch to welcome tell. our Salarian pilgrims to, to the Nexus. You have had a long journey, but we're thrilled that Art Parchero has finally arrived. We ask for patience as we find homes for everyone. To those who doubted the future, the proof stands before you. The Salarians live, and so does their dream. Oh, okay. Ah, there's the hero who made it possible, Pathfinder Rider. Do you have any words for us?
we're getting the hang of it. I'd like to think my team and I are hitting our stride. We're getting pretty good at this. A confident Pathfinder. <laughs> exactly what we need. We chose well with this one. We all owe Ryder a debt of gratitude. In the meantime, please enjoy whatever comforts the Nexus can offer a weary traveler. Excuse me. You're the one who saved us. I am? Thank you. I don't know what else to say. I... I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We all would. Now we have a future. Stay vigilant. Just don't let your guard down. We're in the wilderness here. We can tame it, but it will fight back. So will we. I don't know. Maybe I should have stayed home. All right, let's go do this thing. I can't believe we made it. I'm glad we did. Source for news in the Andromeda Initiative. All personnel be advised. Park Marchero confirms docking procedures complete. All right, let's head to Meridian. Let's get this done. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. He looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's his own person. Just admit you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. I'm sorry about the Salarians. It's true. I had to leave some Salarians behind, Director Tan. I'm sorry about that. Noted. Though it is good to see Ark Parchero reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. The fight is coming anyway. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Cat attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I can't support your plan, Ryder. Then I will. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. Feeling threatened? What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? What? Go. We'll talk later. In the tech lab. Tech lab. Sarah. You lied to me. You said Tad was alive. Oh, Sarah. Why? It was hard to tell you. You were in a coma. I couldn't bring myself to tell you, Sarah. Not like that. But the truth was never going to change. He was always going to be dead. I know. But at least I'd be here when you woke up to hear it. 
We're all that's left, baby brother. I know. But two riders are more than enough to take on this galaxy. You got a head start on me. What's this about you being a Pathfinder? Yeah, Dad's crazy idea of a joke. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? <laughs> Relax. Just for once, take it easy, will you? There'll still be plenty of mountains left to climb when you wake up. Oh, better leave the tallest one for me. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Hager. We have an idea about Meridian. Please stop by the tech lab as soon as you can. Will do. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe, too? Yeah, let someone else do that. <laughs> I'll pass. I've got enough on my plate. How's the job so far? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. Do you miss the Milky Way? Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this Met Bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least the idea of it. Hmm, what part? Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit. Fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. Dad was keeping secrets. Well, Mom and Dad. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. What about them? Dad's death. I thought you might want to know how Dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Only one of us could make it. And he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. I remember the stories about Dad being an N7. The things people said he did in the military. I guess it was true. You should have seen him in action. He was incredible. Good. That's how I'll remember him then. Do you miss Mom? You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her, then I remembered. Dad talked about her, before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. Do you know how they met? What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing, but she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. The Citadel? What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. 
Do you remember Mom's work? What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. Found out Dad was keeping secrets. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? I've seen his memories. Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? Dad was showing off Sam to Mom for the first time. Poor Mom. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. Alright, talk to you later, sis. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. Alright, let's go meet those guys at the tech lab. Should be over this way. I remember the Citadel from the other games. If they do make a, if they do make a remaster, I hope it's at least as good as some of the this like little section right here, but bigger. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with the Nexus scientists on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. What, that I'm listening. Fall over? It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Hmm. As you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The cat won't know which one is genuine. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. That's all I need. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest is on you. I can handle it. Though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. I'm learning Pathfinders often are alone. Part of the job. Except we haven't been paid. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not after this. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. But the planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? Okay. I still reckon they have Right, I gotta do this favor for Drac. Spencer. Apparently he's a weasel. Really? Watch your tone. You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need this equipment. What well, your... Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. 
What do you want? That didn't look like fun. Sounds like you're having a rough day. You saw that, huh? Oh, I'm sorry I snapped at you. The way Spender treats me? Everyone, I'm just... so angry. I don't understand how he's in any position of authority. I've heard things about him. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, it's not half as bad as the reality. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. How can I help? Maybe there's something I can do? A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. <laughs> we need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. All right. Let's go talk to Kesh. The Spender guy seems like a dick. No to the starry scientist, Pelisarium Mazeo. What we activated in the vault drastically improved the atmosphere on him. This <laughs> is HNS. Find a rider? Yeah. What's going on? Why are you whispering? I'm planning a surprise for Superintendent Kesh. She's always complaining that our stock of spirits is tame. I hear Kadara Port is famous for bizarre homebrews. Supposedly pack a powerful punch. Hoping you can pick some up and keep it quiet. Uh, sure. Got it. I'll see if I can find some. Excellent. Oh, shit. Shh. I'm worried about this place if the cat find you. the station. It's all we can do here. So just keep the Pathfinder safe and the cat busy. And be careful out there. I only have one of you. Del told hey. me you saw her arguing with Spender. Hijack's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. Of course. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Canvos. He likely has security footage of some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. Uh, Nothing more for now. Later. We need that console up and running, Cash. Understood. I'll send an engineer to your office. History is made after the addition of the Yo, what up, Kandros? We're getting the Solarian Arc settled in now. People keep asking about the Natanis, but it's a big cluster. We'll find them. Just so you know, our intel says the Archon's pissed. I'd warn your team. Security footage. I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but you know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security vid archives? Thank you. Thanks. Anything else? No, I'm good. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. I miss Garrus from the first game, for the uh, from the original trilogy. It was cool. Huh? This file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. 
Wait, is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this. It'll help you. Normally, don't. I am sorry, Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. Well, isn't that suspicious? Sounds like a cover-up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kadara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip-reading. Good job. We're bound to find something there. Let's go confront it. So Spender is a piece of crap. Hey, Carrie, how's it going? Hi, the documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast, sent a contribution for your expenses. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. I'm prepared the way. My team and I surveyed Eos thoroughly, and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Hopefully they can handle any new ones. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? You first. What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer. And I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. Spend time with my team. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. The cultural center requests special dietary instructions for Angara's... All right, Spender. The mutiny went as well as you'd expect. So much violence. Then, after nearly destroying the station, the Krogan asked for more power. Good riddance. Ryder, is it? Dick. William Spender. Apologies if we met before. I meet a lot of people running colonial affairs. Running colonial affairs? I thought you were the assistant director. That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does all the real work. Real work or dirty work? From what I've heard, your hands are pretty dirty. I saw the footage. You were handing something off? What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time on a witch hunt. You'd be wise to let this be. Hmm. Sounds like you have a problem there, buddy. Maintenance crews, please report to the commons area. All right. I want to talk to Sam real quick and then we can dip out. Hit up Sam, play back a memory, hit the ship's tech tech lab, and develop that ghost thing so we can hit Meridian. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Alright, play the memory. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you too. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. 
There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh, you're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. <laughs> so, um... I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, uh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. Life is hectic. People get busy. Sarah and I were trying to start our lives. A course that seems to have been influenced by your father. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. I'll right, talk to you later. That's all for now. Of course. All right, let's head back to the ship. Pathfinder, this is Captain Dunn. There's a situation I could use your assistance with. I'd rather not discuss it over open channels. Please come see me on the Hyperion Bridge as soon as you can. Okay. Let's go see the cap. What up, Dunn? Sorry to call you in, but this is best handled discreetly. Talk to me. Short version. One of Harry's med techs snuck a relative on board. Woke them up, cut them loose. Turns out this relative has a rare illness. Not contagious yet, but in the later stages. Have you told Tan? Does Tan know about this? What? No, absolutely not. Tan's office is an informational sieve. This gets out, we'll have a station-wide panic. Besides, this is a Hyperion matter. My responsibility. Okay, I'm Hyperion that too. That makes it mine too, doesn't it, Captain? Thank you, Ryder. Please keep this to yourself for now. The only way this ends without major losses is if we handle things before the rumors get out. Right. I'll look into it. Good. Talk to Harry. He can brief you on the details. Let's bring this under control before it's too late. Great. This, this is, is a moment in my dash. I promise. All right, Harry. What's up? Good you're here. Done briefed you? Yeah, she told me. Just the shirt version. High level only. Said to speak with you for the full brief. Great. Well then, here we go. Before we left, my medtech Charlie helped his aunt sign on to the initiative program. He cheated the screening process? Yeah, she has TH314. Deadly, highly contagious in the latter stages, and jumps across species. 
It was dormant, but flared up when Charlie woke her. He just assumed it was stasis sickness. There's no cure, no vaccine. It's deadly in its final stage, and she's off-grid. She's a problem. Where's Charlie now? Any idea where he's gone? Not long ago, he was assigned to an Apex unit for a mission. Incommunicado at the moment. Charlie had no idea the virus would flare up after stasis. Virology isn't his specialty. She's his only relative. Even so, he should have known better. All right, tell me about TH-314. What should I know about this TH-314? Stage one symptoms are similar to stasis sickness, which is what fooled Charlie. Stage two is marked by extreme bouts of paranoia. It becomes virulently contagious at stage three. Airborne, who works? Is anyone else yeah, infected? Me. No one so far. According to the test results I received after Charlie left, she's still in stage one. If she progresses to stage three, Ryder, it'll be bad. It's a rare disease, but the kind that starts pandemics. God damn it, she's sick and needs help. We need to help her, you mean? Every instinct I have, both medical and human, is screaming at me to help her. Making sure TH314 doesn't spread is the top priority, no matter what. This one isn't going to be easy. Anything else I need to know? Be quick, but discreet. We can't panic the entire station over this. I only have a whole space station to search. Discreetly. Check. Could be worse. She could be off station and potentially infecting the Angara. Try customs first. Even with fake medical clearance, she had to go through there like anyone else. Dr. Carlos yeah, seems like to be access to Ruth Becker's profile. The file includes her physical description. That'll be useful. Thanks, Sam. Great. Hey, Paul Boyd. Hi, I'm I don't got no time, dear dude. Welcome to the Nexus. Hey. Name? Ryder. Hi, welcome to the Nexus. Let me check the database and wait, you're already approved. And you're a Pathfinder. Uh hi? Maybe you can help what me. Up? I'm looking for someone. Have you seen Ruth Becker? Yes, I have. Why are you asking? We're friends. She's a friend. I wanted to check on her before I head back out. Of course I can help. She said she wanted to catch up with friends. Now let me see. Yes, Ruth Becker. Tried to set me up with her nephew. It was cute. Anything else that you can remember? I restricted her access to the common area because there were problems with her file. I sorted things out, then messaged her to let her know she was clear. Thank you. Restricted access, huh? Sam, can you do anything with that? Yes. I believe I can help you retrace her steps, at least during that time. Pathfinder, an integrated Ruth Becker's biological signal. Ruth Becker was here, Pathfinder. You can trace her with your scanner. Okay. Check Ruth Becker. Okay. There she is. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Okay. There she goes. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Alright. There she is. She went this way. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. She hit the tram? Please tell me she did not hit the tram. Right. 
There she is. Your scan if you pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Seems quiet for now. Look. Crap. Okay. She went to the bar. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Okay, she went to the bar. Pathfinder Rider. I need to know something. Uh, hang on. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Oh, Lexi. Flag of Tabuti. Let's hear it. I need to go back to the immigration. Shoot. What's up, man? You've been to Gadara. You've seen the exiles there. They used to be with us. Friends, family, and co-workers. A lot of us worry about them. We hear it's chaos, that it's dog eat dog. It's better than that, but it's I ain't civilized the there. They have rules and systems and infrastructure, just like we do. Oh, good. Despite what happened, my heart goes out to them. Thank you for taking the time. Well, I wouldn't put it that far. Hi, my name's Ryder. Did you see or talk to Ruth Becker by any chance? Later, Val. You're looking for Ruthie. She was here earlier, helped me sort out some paperwork. Don't know what I would have done without her. How is she? How is she settling in? Did she seem okay? She looked fine. Happy to be here. Is everything okay? Charlie's fine, right? It would destroy her if anything happened to him. It's all good. Everything's fine. I just need to talk to her. All right, then. Oh, good. I was worried for a moment. She should be in ops somewhere. Wanted to check in on someone. Taryn, I think. Thank you. Taryn? She went to ops? We got, bro we got protests and a virus on the station. And war. In, in this video game, where I'm trying to escape reality. Holy crap. That was made years before things that are going down now. Okay. Oh man, I don't want to talk to this guy again. Oh, it's a different guy. Hey man. Hello, can I help you with anything? Hi, my name's Ryder. You're Taryn, right? Yeah. What's going on? I'm looking for Ruth Becker. Was she here? She was here not long ago. She didn't look so good, though. Fresh out of stasis does that. She did just get unthawed. She's bound to be less than stellar. I don't think this was stasis sickness. She was nervous, kept looking around. She talked about keeping her nephew safe. She ran off mid-sentence. We were talking about the shuttles. Uh, maybe she went to the docks? I'll check it out. Thanks. Sam, paranoia defines stage 2 of TH314, right? Correct. The virus becomes highly contagious in stage 3. If she gets off the station... The risks of a pandemic increase greatly. Great. Ryder, we have a problem. The shuttle was stolen after a dock worker was attacked. From the description he gave me, it was Ruth. Well, that's not good. No, she's definitely in stage two. Go speak with that dock worker. It's very bad if she got off the station. Crap. Is Agent S. 
God damn it, Ruth. What are you doing? I'm gonna find your nephew. I'm gonna kick his ass for this. Are you sure? We should really get medical to check you out. I'm fine. She just took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting her just to attack me like that. Yeah? Can you tell me what happened here? I was here fixing a shuttle when this woman came out of nowhere. She whacked me over the head and took the shuttle. Nearly fried me taking off. Any idea where she went? Uh, I bet she didn't log a destination with control before blasting off. This is crazy. What's going on? Why would she do that? I'll find her. Don't worry. I'll bring her back. Good. Thank you. Anything else you can tell me? I blow torched the hell out of the hall when she hit me. She'll leave her radiation trail a click wide. That's good. Very good. I can work with that. Thank you. Sam, our scanners can track the shuttle's emission trail, right? Suvi confirms. Look, we can contain a colony outbreak if need be, but if she contacts an Angara, find her, Ryder. Whatever happens, she can't land. Ryder, have you seen Lexi? She's not in the med bay? No, and she's not answering her call. I'll find her. Oh my god! Okay. And there's like a bunch of things going on on a Nexus. Looks like uh, it's happened. Find this lady, gotta find Lexi. Lexi, I need you. I, I need to know what's going on with you right now. There you are. Looking for the meaning of life? At the bottom of a bottle? It's a popular spot to look. You wouldn't be the first to try. Alcohol rarely provides answers. Then why are you here? What? I can't kick back? Have fun? Whoa, relax. Man, no offense. It's just... Just what? You don't seem like you're having fun. <sighs> I grew up on Omega. You'd think I'd know how to drink. What's this really about? PB thinks I don't care about the crew. That you're all just experiments to me. Do you... Is that how you think I see you? No, I know you care. You wouldn't be moping in this bar if you only saw me as an experiment. I don't mope, but you're right. <sighs> Thank you, Ryder. I should get back. What about your wine? I'll save it for another day. Uh, okay. All right, now can we get back to space? If one more things goes wrong, I swear to God, I'm gonna be mad. I mean, we, we got two pathfinders now. Let him help out. I gotta, I gotta find this woman. I gotta find Meridian. I gotta find the other arcs. Help me help you. Help me help you. Come to Andromeda, we'll have a few laughs, we'll have a few drinks. Yeah, of course, Kala, what do you need? Ah, there you are. I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? Yeah, just about everything was like thrown about and trashed. You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. 
If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? We should take this seriously. Now that I think about it, a cat armada just stumbling across the Solarian Arc seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, though when you put it like that. I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. Havarl? Jesus. I bet you it was the frackin' row car. Alright, can't think about that right now. Let's go find this lady. Techlinus. Tecunus. Why does that sound familiar? They named it after the Tecunus expedition, the first Salarians to reach the Citadel. It's a big name to live up to. I'm picking up something. Please tell me it's a drive signature. Deploying probe. Sam sent me the data on that shuttle. I've set up our scanners to track it. Just say the word. Trail matches the shuttle we're tracking. Logging data to facilitate tracking. Okay. Anomaly detected. Is she still Cold in the lost. system? Getting a scan. Use more platinum, but rather would have had her drive signature. Okay, let's look at a bigger picture. Eladin. What, the Krogrins? pirates all over this region. You'd think they'd run out of people to steal from. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Anomaly found. is a match. She went this way all right. All right, I got gotcha. you. I'm picking up something. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Yeah, okay, we'll get to that later. Okay. And she's just like black hopping up in systems. Radio 
transmissions from the black hole are incredible out here. The song of the dark side of creation. Nice observation there, Anomaly Suvi. Detected. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. Starship wreckage. She crashed the ship? It doesn't look like our technology. This appears to be our means of a catch scout dropship. Yeah, okay. I'm picking up something. Alright. There we go. Probe away. Getting a scan. Alright, Cal, let's make a beeline for it. Radiation trail is consistent with previous scans. This is our shuttle. Man, what's she doing? She's just like hopping from system to system. Okay. She's looking for her nephew or something. With all this travel, we're building up a bigger picture of the scourge. I wonder if it's just local to Helios, or if all Andromeda is like this. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Getting a scan. Please tell me that's her. Confirm the damaged shuttle trail leads to a landing site on Kadara's surface. Kadara. <sighs> Alright, that's kind of. That's kind of cool. We got a lot of stuff to do on Kadara. I don't know. I see it. Now orbiting Gadara. Okay, we gotta find that person. We gotta we gotta find a connection to that one jackass, William Spender, and we gotta like hook up the vault and create a thing. So we got three uh, got three objectives here on Kandara. That's gonna have to wait. All right, guys, this was uh. This was a conversation heavy uh, video. I don't know, like if you like that stuff, cool. I kind of enjoy doing uh, little intimate conversations, but this is where I'm gonna have to leave it for now. I'll see you, talk to you next time. See you around the galaxy. Peace.